South Pigeons. Today is December 19th, 2023. Gonna do a little update on the birds. Here's my flying loft converted over to my breeder's loft for uh, over the winter for a couple pairs. I got five pairs on this side. Still waiting on, on a few of them to start laying eggs. And just gonna do a little update on my birds. Over here, I got the breeders. Some of them separated over to the flying loft for uh, temporary winter breeding. Brought them over here so I could run a light with extension cord and just kind of move it closer to the house. So that's kind of the beauty of having a loft that is on wheels so you can move them around. As of right now, got five pairs over here. I do have my two lay hatches in here, some inbred Ali stuff that I'm messing around with. Pretty tame. I was hand feeding these guys for a while. So, these guys are extra friendly. But, start with the breeder. So, these guys. Most likely looking like they're trying to play in this corner to lay on the ground. Here we got bull paired up to Omega 42 this year. Their babies, they were a different pair last year, but their babies flew pretty good. So I got these guys together. That's one pair. Pair, I got Beardo paired up to Tim SVR, Van Rehan. Their babies flew pretty good. This year I swapped out all the pairs. I uh, repaired them, different pairing this year. A pair we got Big B and Tim Sablon. Still waiting on these guys to lay some eggs. And here we got Johnson Bird. I got them paired up to one of my favorite hens, one of my good hens, Seca 6397. They got two eggs in here already. Can't really see it. But she's in there. Over here. Here we got Anwar and Ryan Man of Steel. I'm trying to see where he's at. Where are you hiding? So that's Anwar right here. That's my favorite hen. One of my best hen in the law. She's paired up with the kittle bird from uh Orion Boys Loft. That's the bad boy right here. He's on eggs. They got two in there. So I'm excited for that parent. Hopefully we'll see some babies soon. Just waiting on. We need one, two, three more pairs in here that needs to get on eggs. And there's two in here that are on eggs. So, move over to the other loft. All right, so we'll start off with this guy. Here's a mealman cock. I got him and her, his nest mate last year from my buddy Jim. Uh, it was never flown, just a 23 young bird. He got it back from a co-meeting co with a buddy of his and he decided that he doesn't want, want it no more. So I'm gonna try him out this year. So this is a cock. He is paired up to one of my Ali babies. Sister to 14531, just a different mom. So they're on eggs. 
They've been on eggs for about a week now. Over here we got 57. This is full brother to Alpha 41 and Omega 42. I didn't breed him last year, but I'm gonna try him this year to Tiny Purple Heart. There's Tiny Purple Heart in here. They're on two eggs. Um, one last year trying with this hen. She doesn't do good this year. We'll probably weed her out. Down here, just kind of more of a fun parent. Probably gonna be more of a pumper. But in here we got Uncle Red. So Uncle Red is paired up to Peaches this year. And um, I'm just gonna get some colors to fly around. But they're on two eggs. Who knows, their babies might fly good. Uh, Peaches babies flew right last year with a different cock. And Uncle Red's, some of his kids flew all right too. So this one is actually uh, my, is actually a brother to Cordyceca 6397. Supposedly that's his full brother. I got him from Jim. That's kind of the background on that kayak up there. Down here we got Blue Barley. He's a sister to that Blue Check Ali up there. And he's also a half sister to 14531. And they're on two eggs. I got her paired up to Compass this year. This is our silver in here, one of our little cocks. Last year's uh, breeding was, wasn't the best parent. So this year I, I have more confident in what I, in my pairs this year, because last year was let's say a lot of uh, inbreeding, trying to fly inbreeds, which is not ideal. But as of this year, everybody is crossed out and they should be a better results this year. And here we got, see the cock is with the green man to the left. That is five dollar. He is paired up to one of my 23 young hen. And if you remember, this is Chippewa 135700, 13570. So I got $5 paired up to her this year. I was gonna fly old bird, but change of plan. So I'm just trying to make use with my uh, old bird team. So she's gonna be a yearling next year and get a chance to test her out as a breeder and see how their babies do. As I, like I said, I did call out a lot of my breeders last year. I'm just working off of my birds has been uh, proven in a loft that, that seemed to work. Alpha 41, looks like he's been in, in a fight. So he's paired up with Lady Huben in here. Lady Huben, they got two eggs. Looking pretty good. I'm thinking this pair should be pretty good too. His baby is pretty solid. Oh, his baby's last years were pretty solid. And Lady Hoven, she had one son that made it through all the races. But for the most part, her babies were pretty consistent last year for 2023 flying. Uh, here's another young pairing. This is uh, VR82. This is one of the Van Rehens that I bred last year for 2023. Got her paired up to driver. I so said if I was flying old birds, I'll probably, I probably wouldn't be breeding these guys, but as of right now, I'm not really doing anything with them. So I got her paired up to driver which is Alpha 41's kid up here. 
some of my uh, 2023 young birds that made it through the season last year. Trying their babies out and just kind of get some results and see what we got to work with with our family in our, in our loft. And let's see, down here, we got Johnson Bird times Ali daughter in here. So, as of this year, I am breeding a lot of uh, 14531's kids. I am betting on that bloodline right now to be a good cross to all my breeders. As they're not all proven, but 14531 herself was a pretty good hen, along with her uh, nest mate, who, which is a cock that was a champion bird over at Johnson's, at my buddy Johnson's uh, loft. And so right now, just kind of betting on their line. The Ali blood is just kind of, it's not a legit blood, it's just a made up bird, uh, made up bloodline that I named these birds. Just because the guy we got the bird from was from Jim. And he got those two cocks from Lucky Ali. I believe he's out of Wisconsin. So we got a grandpa and a, a son off of the main bird that flew good for him. So I just named the bird Grandpa Ali and Son Ali. So all these birds are just kind of coming off of that background. So as of right now, let's see. 14531, Blue Bar Ali, Blue Check Ali. Those three are all sisters. And then this one is a daughter off of 14531 Ali. And I got her paired up to a Mealman cock that I got from Jim. And there's actually this guy up here. Just trying, just kind of hanging out. It's a new cock I got for the loft. Uh, just testing him out too this year. See how he does. But up here we got shot. Paired up to 14531. This is that bird I had paired up to Alpha 41 last year, and her babies flew really good. So, hoping these Ali stuff is gonna work out for 2024. Well, right now they got, I believe they just laid their first egg like either two days ago or yesterday. So, that's gonna be a pair to look out for. I believe their babies should do pretty good. Another pair I got is, oh, I just kind of started pairing these guys. It's uh, 71 hen. It's a blue bar white flat in front. Got it paired up to my pig bird last year. I'm very nice kid. There he is. That's Barrel's kid. 13559. He went through all this race series. Both of these guys did actually. So like I said, if I wasn't if I was flying old birds, I probably wouldn't be breeding these guys, but decided I don't have enough for old bird flying to make the most out of it. So I'm just gonna pair these guys up and uh test out their babies for 2024. They haven't laid any eggs yet, so hopefully by next week we'll get some eggs from these guys.